and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Simic Quasi Dupla Reef. <laughs> As y'all know, we've, we've played Quasi Dupla Ooze quite a bit, especially last format. Um, Quasi Duplicate is a card. I mean, even even just like the blue black uh, controlled or like the blue black mid range decks that we'd have with Quasi Duplicate. This has always been one of my favorite cards since Guilds of Ravnica came out. Um, yeah, this is just a fun card. You know, you get a create a copy, a talk, <laughs> gosh, create a token that's a copy of a creature you control. What we're trying to do is copy Risen Reefs. So we got, um, you know, Risen Reef, obviously one of the best cards in M20. Uh, elementals in general, just an awesome tribe in M20. So we're going to be playing Risen Reefs, copying them a bunch, making a whole bunch of Risen Reefs. We have other good things to copy, though, too. We have mini Explore Package with Wild Growth Walker, Jade Light Ranger here. So we got a mini Explore Package, no Branch Walker. And then, of course, we have Cavalier of Thorns, which Cavalier of Thorns, how it not only ramps you as a five drop, it also mills over five cards from your library. So it really reduces the size of your library quickly. So if you copy Cavalier Thorns, you can really start um, eating into your library size. And the reason why that's good... Hey, what's up, Atorius? Welcome to the channel. The reason why that's good is because this is a Nexus of Fate deck here. So we are trying to, just like just like regular Simic Nexus, we're trying to eat away from our library with the help of Risen Reef and Cav Cavalier of Thorns and, of course... Tamiyo and make it so we only have nexuses left in play and then we just combo uh, by just by just um, activating nexus all the time and or sorry casting nexus all the time we get our Tamiyos that can get stuff back if need be but we just take a, take a whole bunch of turns and everything there yeah Hawkeye this is really choking me up here um, so yeah, that's that's the plan of our deck. Uh, it looks pretty cool. You know, and this is a, looks a, like a pretty nice uh, Simic donation deck here. Sideboard has a card that I haven't played before. This will be my first time playing Selective Snare. So how this is going to work is, you know, you can pay X, X, X plus one. You return X creatures of the creature type of your choice to their owner's hand. This is our anti-vampires tool. And so I'm going to be interested to see how this really works against vampires. Could be just also anti like elementals, I suppose. If you play against team or elementals, <clears throat> but you know we're we're mostly going to want to spend like four or five mana. If we think about like five mana, you return four vampires back to their hand. They do get to just recast them, but that's still like a time walk, right? Like that's basically like a nexus there of taking their turn um, as they recast theirs. So it, you know, that's that's basically what that's going to be there. Um, and yeah, if, if it does turn out that if we want to, we can, we can bounce our Risen Reefs or Cavalier Thorns if we want to replay them again, if, if like that's how the game, uh, gets to, uh, we can also do that. We can also bounce some of our own elementals and replay them as well. All right. So let's go ahead and get to it. Simic Quasi Reef. Let's see how it does here for us. See so if we can get to five wins before two losses. You just snared for eight to win the game? Nice. Yeah, um, if if you if we do stabilize, you know, you get to the point like where they're staring at us and they can't really get through, we're staring at them, we can't really get through. You know, it does work as basically as like River's Rebuke, just bounce all the all the stuff and then uh, swing out for the win. Uh, yeah, it's very good against Jun Dinos. I, I forgot about that deck. I haven't seen that deck in a long time. Ooh, we need one land. How many lands we got in here? Hopefully we have enough lands. 24. Ugh. So we got two draw steps because we're on the play. But as long as if we just hit one land, we got, you know, Risen Reef, start copying Risen Reef, or also Jade Light helps you hit more land drops. Really like one land and, and we're great. I think we can risk it. Here we go. We can do it. Come on, Hawk. We got Hawkeye here. I didn't do anything to the mic. 
Birdsy. Can everybody else hear me? I didn't I didn't adjust anything with the mic. Hey, awesome, KBX. You're using the Gruel Vivian deck, ripping through ranked right now. Awesome. Keep it keep it up, keep it going. Well, we have two draw steps because we're on the play, so we have two draw steps to get 22 out of 53. So 22 out of 53 is less than half, admittedly. So we're <clears throat> less than a coin flip, but we got two of them. No, I don't do draft draft days or anything, no. Hey, After Wizards, yeah, we've had some people gifting out subs. Roach has gifted out 30 subs today. We had a few other people gift five subs as well. All right, Grixis. All right, come on, Risen Reef. No. <clears> Hawkeye, <throat> okay, you didn't help with the coin flips. You're supposed to help our coin flip. Hey, Birdsy. Welcome to the channel. I have just the trick for this. Liliana, huh? More cards. There we go. Uh, I must stay focused. Okay, there's a seventy-three. Meditate and prepare. Did I update for the other two sub goals? No. So yeah, we've already we've hit enough sub goals here because each each tens a new sub goal. We're not only are we doing a 12 hour stream on Saturday, we're already four out of 20, so a quarter, so a fifth, so a fifth of the way uh, to our next 12 hour stream. Crazy. All right, so I only get to quasi duplicate once. Because even though I can quasi-duplicate and then I'll have three mana, I'll have double green. So as far as I won't have, yeah, I can't I can't duplicate twice, basically no matter what I do. But we'll duplicate once here because this could be Jade Light. Uh, we'll just put that in. Well, they have a Ritual of Soot, I'm pretty dead anyway, so might as well play this Land War Elf. It's not like that Land War Elf. It's not like holding back Land War Elf is going to help me really, really reset after a Ritual of Soot. It doesn't matter what, what quasi-duplicate. I, I used a revealed quasi-duplicate, because see how it says this one's not revealed? That one is. It doesn't, like, the all that matters is the arts. It doesn't matter which one you actually choose. <laughs> We're not going to be doing two 12-hour streams on Saturday. I can't do that. Just from a physical standpoint, 12 hours is like the max. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. Wow, Crow Walker. Time planes, Walker. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. I should have played this before I drew a card. I should have played that upkeep. I didn't I didn't set an upkeep stop.
I'm not sold on this lasso in our deck. Whenever we have this card that wants lots and lots of blue mana and Jade Light Rangers and everything. Not sold on this blast zone being in here. It blew up an Ascanta and a seal away for you la last night for you. Still feel that, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of feeling that having another uh, let's, let's let's be honest, it doesn't that three damage doesn't matter we'll just kill the Narset I feel like having another Temple of Mystery may be the way to go no draw four off of Walker no draw four off of Walker. I'm not sure that question. What that question means. Make great minions. Loyal. No, I haven't tried like the mono blue toy. artifact deck. Alright, so this time casting it upkeep so that we could draw it. Wild growth. If your are oh, if I play the other Wild Growth Walker in hand, I get the four triggers? Oh, okay. Hmm. I know That's I what you're... you're okay. Somewhere. Yeah, I guess I could have done that instead of Jade Light. And there we go. We're in Nexus a few times. Yeah, I mean, I think we had that... That game was certainly locked up. Man... Having infinite Risen Reefs is pretty good. All right, so we're playing against Grixis, which means Vale of Summer and Nagate. And we could play Shifting Ceratops, but I honestly don't really know if we even really need Shifting Ceratops. We don't need Wild Growth Walker. And Quasi Duplicate can be tough here. Could trim on quasi duplicate. Because like if they're just killing all my stuff, then the quasi duplicates don't do anything. Uh, so let's yeah, let's do that. So let's take out two quasi duplicate, add in these negates veil of summas. Good Narset's reversal, thought erasure. But nah. Our O3 isn't spectacular, but I think it's good enough. Oh, never taking out Blast. We're not cutting any lands. Like this deck needs like a lot of lands. I think twenty four like we have twenty four in here. I think that's like the bare minimum that we could possibly have. I wouldn't mind a twenty fifth or a twenty sixth land, honestly. But yeah, we're, we're never going to take out land in any matchup. Cool. I'll hit some land drops. Land drops are good. No, Immortal Sun may... That could... That... Could that kill you? That could maybe kill you. No, like, Tamiyo is just amazing with Nexus. And, like, this is this is a Nexus deck. And Tamiyo is, is just amazing with Nexus. Just reduces your... Reduces the count of your library so much. <clears throat> Poor...
Poor opponent. Well, I could play forest. Like the the problem with playing the forest to have the veil of summer up is it I just tell my opponent that I have a veil of summer if I do that. And I don't really want to tell my opponent I have a veil of summer because that's the only reason to to play the forest instead of the temple. I could play forest and then say oops, <laughs> and then be like, oh no, I. All right, well, not attacking. Not attacking also says it. Maybe maybe they'll think I accidentally messed up and I meant to attack. All right, well, that's fine. We need more lands. Our deck needs more lands. What's up, quasi duplicate? That is, I do agree. That is pretty awesome. Quasi duplicate with Cavalier of Thorns milling it over. That is a really nice. That's some really nice energy there. Your favorite BM is to do your go and then followed by Nexus and then say oops. Oh my gosh. That is some harsh BM there. <laughs> say your go and then you cast Nexus. Oh, oops, never mind, my turn. All right, I I could say I'm I am really digging Cavalier of Thorns plus Quasi Duplicate. This is a nice combo. So yeah, we're just reducing our library. Make it so we only have Nexuses left, eventually. And that's game. Doesn't matter how my opponent blocks. Taking extra turns when you have a bunch of five sixes. All right, this deck's looking pretty nice already. But to be to be honest, Grixis decks can't really compete with the Risen Reef Cavalier Thorns decks. It's really hard for Grixis to compete with those. As somebody who's played a whole lot of Grixis, it's really hard to beat Risen Reef Cavalier Thorns, specifically the Cavalier Thorns part. But add in a bunch of Nexuses. Cavalier Thorn Nexus Tamio. Yeah. All right, so one game in, one really strong match there. Yeah, I'd expect Vampires to be the toughest matchup. For sure.
Yeah, we got to get rid of one of these cards. Hmm. Which card stands out as the one to get rid of here? Probably the blue one. The one that costs double blue. Yeah, the because not only is quasi quasi duplicate double blue, but whenever you have like six mana and, and you want to cast it, then recast it, you need four blue, and this thing needs three red or sorry, three green. <laughs> sorry, so we need so much green and we need so much blue. I I am hating this blast zone. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. The more the more I think about it, the more I really hate this blast zone. I want Temple of Mystery instead. I mean, Temple of Mystery here wouldn't let me play Cavalier Thorns, I know. That's the, the only thing I don't like about this deck right now is that Blast Zone. It's the only thing I don't like about the deck so far. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to Thorns now. We'd be able to Ranger, which is fine. But also, like, Temple is an awesome hit off of Cavalier Thorns. And there's only two Temples in this deck. And that's an awesome card to, to put into play off of either Risen Reef or Cavalier. Like, putting in Temples is really nice. Temples are good. Well, I definitely want to play Tamiyo this turn, so do I risk it by playing Jade Light first and hoping Jade Light hits a land in the two cards? If it doesn't, I don't get to play Tamiyo. Yeah, I guess so, because I am going to need another blue land anyway, and Jade Light can kind of help find that. Come on, land. Wow, so lucky. The best, best possible land. Basic Island. All right, Nexus, here we go. And I see the strength of our deck here. Against, you know, like against the escape shift decks, we're just trying to ramp. And thin out the library as soon as possible and get to play Nexuses. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. That's more like it. The person who, yeah, so that said maybe cut the finale for a 25th land anyway. So you, could happen. I, I think I would really just play two temples over the blast zones. I don't, I don't like a land that doesn't play my, my spells. I like playing spells. Let me aid your research. So it's mathematically it's better to play It's better to play the Cavalier first because you have less cards whenever you Only take up for Nexus, but tell. then you know obviously we couldn't cast Nexus if we did that. And if we draw Nexus, we have lethal. So just taking up Tamio, because if we would have found Nexus, we'd have lethal. Why do we need removal, tsunamis? So you're saying, I said, I'm not wrong about, you know, wanting to cast our spells, but we need removal. Like, why is, why is us needing removal a, why is that a given? The library. Whenever all we're trying to do is just ramp and take all the turns in the game, why do we need removal?
It's nice to have like removal in the sideboard and everything. I don't I don't think we need it game one. All right, so we're playing against um, the deck that does things with zombies. Scape shifts. So we're playing against scape shifts. So do we want cards like reversal and negate, even though if they have Teferi in play, we're not reversaling or negating anything? We have Rivers of Buke also. They can just bounce all sorts of zombies. Um... I mean, I guess that's the reason to have Rivers Rebuke in the deck. These Wild Growth Walkers still just don't matter. Um, maybe you. So if we go Rebuke, Negates. Reversal. Reversal does seem pretty sweet. I'll take out a Jade Light also. It's either a Jade Light or a Quasi Duplicate. Maybe a Duplicate. Yeah, you can you can bounce tokens with Selective Snare, but they make way too many tokens to actually bounce. Don't yeah, I don't think we really need the ability to heal. Wild Growth is is so bad against. It's so bad against Teferi, like bouncing wild growth. It's just not a it's not something that'll matter too much, I don't think. Yeah, 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 we can we can cast it on our own Nexus and put Nexus back in our hand with if we have nine mana with four blue, we can go Nexus and then reversal and put Nexus back in our hand. But I'm thinking like circuitous route. Like they play circuitous route and we we Narset's reversal circuitous route. Slow them down, and and then we we get to ramp to with two lands. Like that sounds awesome. It is awkward here how we're going to have four mana. We can't Jade Light and hold up Reversal. And this is like a turn we want Reversal. This is their Circuitous Route turn. So it's a little awkward. Yeah, we could... I could just go, like, Tamiyo here. And then... And then have Reversal negate up basically for the rest of the game after that. I'm not going to do that, though. Wow, got blown out by Golos. That's all right, we'll have Jade Light next turn. And they had the basic Swamp in their hand. I go grab a white source, and Golos is a blowout. Okay, just grabbing the field of the dead. Yeah, they just had a white source too. I'll just have it all. I need more mana. Are you kidding me? 
Narset's reversal? My Narset's reversal? Are you kidding me? They just get to put their Circuitous Route back in hand and also cast Circuitous Route? That was just like the best play I've ever seen. That was the best play I've ever seen. I'm so jealous. We're so dead. Ooh, okay, maybe not quite dead. Um Not going to do that yet. I don't think I want to play Tamiyo here. In in the view of all these, <clears throat> you know, like Tamiyo and then having to like chump block for Tamiyo. They're ne they're going next escape shift. Wow, this Golos is just destroying me. It's not necessarily game. I have a sh shot if they play Nexus. I have a shot. It's not a great shot, but it's a shot. If they don't play the Nexus, the Nexus stays exiled forever. Man, y'all really don't think we can win this. Y'all think this game's over, huh? Because well, they have 31 triggers on the stack. Okay, you're saying it's a good, it's a good match. So wait in there with your po getting the popcorn for game three. I got gotcha. you. So they grab four Scrylands. Do they need all four Scrylands off this scape shift? Like they don't want to save like a couple Scrylands for later. Like what if they just like the top card? And you just wasted three Scrys. Yeah, you just kind of have to put it on the bottom. Just wasted two scries. All right, they did not cast Nexus, so I don't think we are going to be winning this now. 
No, our opponent didn't forget to cast Nexus. They know about this. See, as you see, it's revealed. They know about the Narset's reversal. So they know that if, if they play Nexus, then I take another turn. So it's not like they forgot. Ooh, no lands. It was very smart for them to not play that Nexus. They have 31 still. So yeah, they still got a lot of cards. Ah, so they have a fifth Scryland in their deck. See, Scrylands are great. Pretty sure that's game though. It's too many zombies. It's hard to beat three field of the deads. I need I need them to cast the nexus. I like our chances if we were on the play. We would have just been a little faster. Getting our mana out and everything. Jade Light looked really bad. By really bad, I mean not not like it does enough. I want another quasi-duplicate, less Jade Light. I want Reef copying Reefs. I want to copy Reefs, copy Cavalier Thorns. Those are the cards that matter. No, we don't we don't need life gain from Wild Breath Walker. I mean this is just this is just two combo decks. We need to combo quickly. The Veil of Summer doesn't do anything. There is, there's not a, a card that they've played in either game that Veil of Summer would have done anything against. They, we haven't seen a counterspell from them at all. See, if this Blast Zone was Temple, we'd be able to play Risen Reef and then Temple next turn. And Scry. Correct. Tokens have zero CMC, so Blast Zone starts with a counter on it. Blast Zone doesn't work. I can no longer stand by and watch. Okay. You bouncing anything over there? This cool. Might be a bad idea. So if I do Cavalier Thorns first, I don't get the Risen Reef trigger from the Cavalier. It's also just a five six coming down and ramps us. Yeah, it's still it's still reef first. Well, glad we went reef first, because <clears throat> otherwise we would have milled over that nexus. Now we have that in hand. Next turn we get to cavalier. Let's try this. My auto tapping is not really helping the whole hold up. You know, holding up interaction kind of thing. Yeah, you could have Soul Diviner take that counter off Blast Zone. Hey, 
That was uncalled for. Here goes nothing. So, I mean, I could cast a couple Nexuses here. But it doesn't really do anything. They're going to have Zombies to block for the Time Raveler. I don't know exactly why my opponent's casting here. Oh, because of my Narset's reversal they're scared of. One blue mana. We need more blue. If only this was a blue land. So we could have like Nexus plus Reversal for some protection. Okay, good. It's a good sign for us. They don't have Narset's Reversal available over there. Oh yeah, we can't even Reversal. Yeah, we can't Reversal because it's a fairy anyway, so we can't protect. But still a good sign for us. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got ten mana over here. So I could go I could go Cavalier plus Rivers Rebuke. Wait, what'd I say? Did I say ten? Oh, I don't have four blue though. I can't quasi duplicate and nexus, can I? You stop. What do you Hawkeye, I need to get the get to the mouse. Get over here. Right, I'm counting on this finding a blue source. between six cards. Not attacking. Because we can do this again. And then we can set up so set up for lethal. So I could have just cast the other Cavalier of Thorns. Want to mill the five cards over first. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, I have one, two, three, four, five. So I cannot Cavalier Thorns also.
They could have Veil of Summer. Is that like, like maybe they have Veil of Summer so this River's Rebuke's not gonna actually work? Possible they have Veil of Summer. Cause like their their turn is still going up like going like this all the time. Like Veil of Summer is the type of card that you can just cast whenever you want. Why are you saying Veil doesn't work? This targets targets a player. Let's keep thin in the library and draw in another card. Yeah, rebuke targets. Return target player. So maybe I should just be attacking here with all these Cavaliers. Okay, there we go. Well, that, that seals it. They'd have to have two, two Veil of Summers now. Oh, I can't, I can't cast that card. Stupid Teferi. Mill over another five cards and then get a Risen Reef trigger. <laughs> Three Nexuses there. Alright, so we got a four out of 14 shot of drawing another one. Uh, that's a free roll. That's a free roll. Oh, yeah, I guess I could have probably done that. Did I have did I have the mana to do that? Did I have the mana to cast? I mean, I didn't have this much mana out. Let's say I guess I had one less. So I had four for Tamiya. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I might have had exactly that much to... Oh no, because you can't you can't recast rebuke. Because yeah, the veil the veil la lasts till end of turn, so you can't recast rebuke. Yeah, they still have hexproof, so yeah, you can't just like cast it then get it back. All right, so basically the opponent gets one more turn. This is certainly their last turn. So, like, do we lose? Like, do they have a bunch of nexuses and everything? Ugh, which they could. We may, we may lose. Like, maybe I need to just be attacking with these five sixes just earlier. I guess I could have been attacking each time. I was trying to set up the rebuke kill, but. You know, looking back at it for how many turns we took there, I should have been just attacking with a 5-6 every turn. If we would have done that, we would have won. You know, lesson, lesson learned there for me. Um, you know, obviously hindsight there.
yeah, the one extra turn in an Nexus matchup is everything. Yeah, that, that's my plan is to later on to rebuy the rebuke later. Like we sh we should be. Trust me, I have a plan. Like, if we get another turn, we'll win. I'm not worried about that. We just have to get another turn now. Oh, well. All right, a little worried about that. We can't save Tamio. I have become yep. too involved with my Are they blockers? There's 13 attackers there. They're doing 10 damage. You know, 11 damage, even if I tried to block everything. It only gave me one trigger. Alright, well, it looks like we get another turn. So, yeah, it looks like we're good. So, the tokens. Oh, yeah, because you have to exile it. Right, yeah, so the, the tokens don't give you that. So, cool. I was actually probably just going to say no to the other triggers anyway. But yes, because Cavalier says you have to, once it goes to the graveyard, you have to exile it. <laughs> That's pretty cute there, Matthew. Okay, so as long as we hit a Nexus here, there's four, you know, a third of our... Third of the deck's Nexus there. As long as we hit a Nexus, we will win. Okay. We hit one Nexus. But now, like, mathematically, that's, like, all we can hit now is Nexus. Yeah, like, we're we're not missing anymore. I think you will find my notes yeah. Helpful. We just play the Cavalier Thorns. Play those out. Rivers rebuke them. That game's over. We just need one more turn. I should have played... I should not have plussed Tamio. I was actually going to try to... I should play the Cavalier first before plussing. Try to get as any other lands that we have out there. <laughs> That's right. We are inevitable. We had 12 mana, so yeah, 12 is, is perfect to play Cavalier plus Nexus. That costs 12. So yeah, it was perfect to play one Cavalier. Not not both Cavaliers, we'll play one Cavalier and then Nexus. Um... All right, we already had the Nexus in hand. I'm talking about like this... Not the turn that I played Tamio. I'm talking about the, that last turn where our opponent conceded. I start to hit tick up on Tamio, but I should not tick up first. I should, I should play the Cavalier from hand first. Okay. 
Yeah, the turn I played Tamio, I had to. I had to play Tamio there. Man, temples are awesome. Keep that one because of Thought Erasure. This Tamio, we got a backup. Always good to have a backup plan. And the question is, do I dig for Cavalier of Thorns, or do I dig for Risen Reef? Those are the two options, Risen Reef, Cavalier. Like the phases of the moon, like let me aid your research. You know, Cavalier. I like how Cavalier, you know, ramps me and mills me out. The card's awesome. Maybe I should have minus and just grabbed the other Tamio back, though. I guess that was probably the, just the best play, was just to minus and grab the other Tamio back. Yeah, I guess that was the play. Yeah, I should have just minus and grabbed the other one. And then we're protected from... the Noxious Grasp there. Said always, always go Risen Reef first. Yeah, Noxious is a pretty pretty popular one of in main decks. I usually play one of my blue black control decks. Most all the the threats these days are either green or white. How Noxious hits Nissa, Teferi. Everything in between. I guess, yeah, if we played Crucible Worlds in the deck, I guess we could hit more more land drops whenever our deck's already doing its thing, like whenever we have Cavalier Thorns and Tamio going. Do I keep this in hand in case we draw a quasi duplicate? There's we don't have like a crisis in in our deck or anything like that. All right, so I made I'm definitely made one big mistake here this game of not having Tamio grab Tamio. Definitely made that really big mistake. That's true. Holding holding the card in hand could bait a thought erasure. That's that's true. My my best draw is Cavalier of Thorns. Not more lands.
Well, we got the thought erasure. Hey, wifey gate. Welcome, welcome. So I did did make one critical error there. <clears throat> Good to know about. With Tamio getting back Tamio, of course we don't have to worry about if we, you know, like with doing that play, Tamio getting back Tamio. You don't have to worry about a thought erasure on the Tamio because. You can't discard stuff whenever Tamiya's in play. I was the one like Let's make sure we keep double blue available because of quasi duplicate. Wow. That's not a good Cavalier Thorn. Or is it? So the Jade Light's going to go from the Thought Erasure. If Cavalier Thorns dies, we can get a Tamio back. So it's not. It's not like all the Tamios are lost for good. Yeah, Cavalier, of course, does have to die. Can't get contempted. against many foes like you. I have just the trick for this. Harder. Before these all get cry the carnarium away. Yeah, they have they have negate available though. As far as like just nexusing. So I could do it on their turn here. I have to activate the Leafkin mana first.
Alright, so we'll get the negate on their turn. They're tapped out here. <clears throat> and we'll see if we draw any more nexuses. Got about a 14% chance, too. That's pretty good. All right, so we're down to 14 cards now. Dude, Cavalier Quasi-Duplicate is messed up. Oh, that's so good. Need to keep another land in hand. We got infinite, infinite Cavaliers. Then we're about to have infinite turns. Dude, this is nice. The yeah, the, the tokens are exact copies, so those tokens count as CMC5. Like tokens that like making zombie tokens from Field of the Dead, those have CMC0. But whenever whenever it's a copy of it, like the copy has the same CMC on the battlefield as the normal one does. So we get all these Vale of Summers, Negates. So kind of the same thing we just did. Um, shifting Ceratops could be decent. Also, I want to cut the Wild Growth Walkers. I want to cut Leafkin Druid. I kind of want to just not make their... Like, you know, they're, play they're going to be playing a whole bunch of Legion's Ends. I kind of want to, like, just... Blank those legions ends. Cut two duplicates. Yeah, Narcissus Reversal Thought Erasure is pretty cute, uh, but we'll just have the Veil of Summers and negates the there. We're not cutting all the elementals. We, just, we have our eight important elementals, um, and then. But yeah, I, I did cut a bunch of elementals, but that's fine. Like, it's kind of hard to have Risen Reef stay out on the battlefield anyway against our opponent. And if you don't have a Risen Reef, you know, drawing that O3 later on is, is kind of rough. Yeah, if you bounce a copy, it still goes away because it's just a copy. It's not the actual card. You can't put a copy back in your hand. So, yeah, if you bounce a copy, even though it still has the same CMC, it still uh, is destroyed, as you said, or just goes away by bouncing. Well, I didn't really blank. I didn't really blank Legion's End very well by drawing Land War Elf for my first draw step. I didn't do a very good job of blanking Legion's End. So 
So that was my plan. Plan was not executed too well. Yeah, by by the word blank there, I'm meaning make it, make it so it's not effective, so it doesn't do very much for our opponent. But I have five creatures left in the deck that Legion's End can target. Five total, and I just had had them all there. Um. Every story is an opportunity for new data. To the library! Hey, Waifu Gate. Thank you very much. Enjoying the music today. Cheers. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the big modification I'd make for this deck right now, is just the um, the focus and meditate and prepare. Just the blast zone thing. I'm not convinced on Wow Growth Walker yet, but it is an elemental. Thanks, Tamio. Subject is easily agitated. Seek and find. Put that force in my hand. Thought about it. The thing is, like, Legion's End is kind of everywhere. Wild Growth Walker, not so great there. It's Legion's End. Our time together all right, so Tammy, all Tamio did was mill eight cards, gained us eight life, and milled eight cards. <laughs> I don't know if that's spectacular there. And she protected me from Thought Erasure for a turn, yeah. So she she traded with a Thought Erasure too. So that's that's true. Alright, so Tamiya did a little bit more there. Oh, I'm sorry, Chef. Put this salt there. Start here, not enjoying the deck. 
It was a it was an actual thought erasure that Narset grabbed. I'll go discard this thing. Yeah, still, still, yeah. So glad you like the stream. The deck just feels real gross. Certainly can't handle another Cry of the Carnarium. Well, thanks for milling me. Just gonna. <laughs> that just helps me out with my whole Nexus plan. And I have Quasi Duplicate. Have I already used both my quasi duplicates? Yes, I have. Those are the only, those are the two left in the deck. Minus, minus, minus. Dang. Good help is easy to find in war. Man. What still says I'm playing Orzov? Yeah, looking at my graveyard like this does does drop frames. I know that. What says that I'm playing Orzov? Can't do that. The star. Oh, okay. The star over here. Ooh, putrid, but effective. Okay, there we go. Because, yeah, there's, like, you, with all the different deckless commands and everything, I wasn't sure exactly what, what you meant there. So I need that land, like, so we have exactly seven mana. I know I noted this somewhere. Darn. Uh, didn't hit any nexuses. They hit two nexuses. And they milled. All right, that'll do it. Game three.
Awesome. Play first. Glad you're liking your rock field. Uh, may I don't know, 619. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. We have had some very long decks here today. Mr. Rock. Well, it's up. It's up on the YouTube channel too. Make sure you don't don't forget to be following the YouTube channel there. That's where all the videos go. youtubecom slash MTG. I don't have any music playing on the YouTube channel, also. So if you're somebody that's not a huge fan of the playlist, you don't have to. You know, you can watch it on YouTube. Don't hear the music. But if you really like the playlist, of course, you can exclamation point playlist gets you my Spotify playlist. So you can also just play the playlist on Spotify there. And then you have the full experience of watching on YouTube. So there we go. Yeah, this is Yeah, this is definitely a slow deck. But but it's it's hard to stop though. It's very good at what it does. We had a really crappy hand that last game. Uh you know, like where we didn't have anything but lands and land war elves for a long time. Yeah, I've streamed Doors of Vampires a few times. I think I've probably played it maybe like about five times probably. That'd be my guess. And of course, yeah, of course when you're watching on YouTube you can be playing your own. Uh, your own playlist as well. Hey, what's up? Shaf, get in the sub. There you go. Thanks, After Wizard. So there you go, Shaf. Now you get to use all your hype boats in the chat. Every time we get a subscriber, always like putting hype boats in the channel, like that. So yeah, basically, I think I think they could have negate here for Tamio. So I don't really want to play Tamio. This seems like a pretty natural negate. Here we saw them have a lot of negates last last game. So I'm going to play the Ceratops instead. Put more pressure on them. You know, maybe they contempt Ceratops instead of contempting Reef or Tamio. Well, of course, I was definitely planning on Cavalier Thorns until. I think you will find my notes helpful. Until drawing Veil of Summer. That is not bad. But neither is Cavalier Thorns. Get more blue mana. I think it's probably good for me just to be hitting land drops. <laughs> Thanks, Shafts, for the gifted subs. Getting that luck. The storied past holds our future. Now I'm gonna grab the Veil of Summer. 
sure, now they know about Veil of Summer, but I also have two of them. And Veil of Summer is a pretty messed up good card. It's just, it's, you know, counter spell plus a draw card. It's kind of messed up. Um... So I, I think my opponent has another contempt for Tamio. Yeah, I don't. I don't know exactly what I would take uh, for a tournament. Like, like maybe the Soul Time mid range that we're about to play. I don't know. I I really like this deck though that we're playing here. This deck's pretty good. I'd want to see this deck against vampires. Let me aid your research. I guess I could start looking for nexuses. There's all my other Risen Reefs. So definitely like where we're at here. Bolus Horns from 619. And y'all are so, so giving today. Thanks, 619. And welcome to the channel there, Bolus Horns. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking... I'm thinking quasi the reefs. Or just play another one of these. Quasi cavalier. I'll just play this thing. We'll save our Veil of Summer for something more important. We're down to 16 cards. I, I can't really see my opponent winning this. I don't really see how they can. No, no, no Veil of Summer. We don't, we don't really need that quasi-duplicate to resolve. We do need, like, Nexuses to resolve. No one can keep an open mind. Vin Jira, get in that gifted sub. Welcome, Vin. Yeah, we could just do, yeah, we can finale for for ten. We have the mana, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. 
I'm too off. I guess I could have I could have Ceratops with haste and then copied Ceratops with haste and killed him that way. Seek and find. That'll do it. Okay, three and O. Oh. This has been a very long league too. Yeah, all right, this deck does play some really long games. Good call. Protection from blue affects me also. I cannot quasi duplicate a shifting ceratops. It cannot get copied. It doesn't like those blue cards. <laughs> Good thing I didn't try to go for that line. Tamiyo. Yeah, with Frenzy, you can. Yeah, Mono Red, Mono Red can mill out for sure with Frenzy and everything. All right, well, good Jade Light Ranger. The draw two. So I think this is, yep. Should we scape shift here? So let's get more more blue, and we're gonna say Risen Reef. Just told to say Risen Reef. To start with. All right, no Cavalier either. So we gotta gotta combo quickly. Gotta get rid of this lab berry. I think you will find my notes helpful. Ugh. Over two. Gross. Really? The next card. All right, so am I playing Leafkin out or waiting? Next turn, I'm going to go Risen Reef plus Quasi Duplicate the Reef. So we'll play this. Hey, Windcat. Angels did okay. Um, did okay. This is the one of our losses was this Bant Scape Shift. It's a tough, tough matchup for the Angels. No, Ashiok wouldn't destroy our deck. Ashiok wouldn't do that much. It would kind of help us. I got shock now.
All right, it's time to start saying Nexus. Let me aid your research. We just need one more turn. I like our chances if we get one more turn. Which I don't really know how we don't get another turn. How do we beat a million zombies anyway, though? We don't have any flyers. Oh man, it it takes a it's this this may take a long time to beat a million zombies. Yeah, we have infinite turns. Yeah, you eventually grind through, but it's gonna take a while. So we have to hopefully get there. I mean, we're not we're not guaranteed infinite turns right now. Let's let's upkeep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I only have three, four, so I don't actually get to Cavalier. If I, <clears throat> so if I upkeep Nexus, I don't actually get to cast Cavalier. Cavalier has to hit an untapped land, though, for me to cast Cavalier. It's a little risky. I think I just upkeep Nexus and don't cast Cavalier. Because that is risky, because we have to hit an untapped land if I cast Cavalier. So we have to fight through 41 zombies. And that's why you uh, keep Nexus, because you have a better chance of drawing another Nexus. To the library. Oh, I need to keep land in hand. Oh, and then also upkeep Nexus. Okay. Stop tapping all my blue sources. Deck. Did I just play a land? No, I just discarded a land. Let's decline, put this land in our hand. Seek and find. Yay. Yeah, those things are just going to die anyway. We'll just start cutting down these zombies. Man, this is going to take a while.
Oh, this is gonna take a while. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. All right. Oh no, arena's freezing now. I'm not. I have seven cards in library. Yeah, the the lag. I guess it's time to start growing these wild growth walkers. No tail should be discarded. Yeah, I guess we just get the four wild growth walkers and play, and then play the four jade lights on them. Oh yeah, that card. That card's good. Well, <sighs> it's making us do this. Hey, what's up, jerk? I follow the tracks of the wise. I don't know why I didn't attack with these before. I just attack with those things. If they block them, cool. I I can stop dealing with these stupid triggers. If they don't block them, whatever. They take damage. I don't know. Maybe I could win with Devastation. X equals 10. I haven't done that math yet. Oh, Devastation does not give Trample, does it? Just gives Haste? That's lame. Okay, is that all of, is that all of those things? Hmm. 
make an excellent informant for my study. I have learned much from my ancestors. Got 19 minutes left. I think you will find my notes helpful. How can we? We're going to attack our opponent and kill them. I would like to test a new hypothesis. Like we can get, we have infinite turns, we have infinite cards, like to to get back and everything. It's just all about the timer. I'm going to cast two Nexus this turn. I don't have to worry about that. All right. I get another turn after this. So I'll keep stop again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or no, I want to attack with that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay. <sighs> We're getting this game. <laughs> We're getting this game. Thirty eight zombies isn't, aren't going to stop us. I got to make sure I nexus again at, at upkeep. I need the wild gross and jade lights. I could just have one flyer. Just one creature with flying. Give me one cavalier gales. This would have been a lot easier. Just give me one cavalier gales. Let's 
16 minutes for me. I don't know about Krasis with this deck. Krasis, you may actually deck your... Like, you may not be able to pass Krasis later. Like... Give me one Cavalier Gills. All right, so I went through half of theirs. Let me aid your research. Landfall Satchel. That's a good one. I guess I am out of Jade Lights. I need these Jade Lights to die. Man, this is... This is something here. They're just chumping the four threes. They block in. <sighs> All right, so yeah, it's not killing them. My clock's going down right now. I'm not even doing anything, though. It's just all animations. So these animations are... Okay, no. The clock stopped going down now. Had 200 more life. <laughs> 184 to negative 83. Yeah, I could have recovered Devastation there, made it minus 1,000. <laughs> could have. There you go. Thanks, Chef. Okay, so we played this one earlier. I did board out the Wild Growth Walkers in this matchup saying... Quote, they don't matter, end quote. It did make my life easier. Life would have been harder without Wild Growth Walker, but we still would have won without it. But it would have made it harder. Would have made it take longer. Yeah, it's all about the rebuke. And then we're bringing in Nagates and Reversals. Cutting Wild Growth Walker. Maybe not reversals. I don't know. Reversals pretty sweet. It's just that they have Teferi in play, then I don't get to reversal anymore. I gotta get that Sir Elin Drake in here.
All right, maybe not reversal. I don't know. Reversal is pretty sweet. We've got like a jade light, then this finale. I'll cut those things. Let's get these reversals in here. All right, so we got 14 minutes left for these two games. Yeah, we can reversal the Rivers Rebuke to put Rivers Rebuke back on our hand. I thought about that of like shocking in for breeding pool so that if we drew a blue source we could copy have you know copy land war off again, but glad we didn't. Grazer grow spiral, they're still sitting on two lands. Assuming there's negates over there. So we'll just ramp the old-fashioned way. Not the cool quasi-duplicate way. I guess I should be attacking and doing one damage there. Talk about rude. Can that be a blue land? We're probably going to find a blue land out of 10 cards, right? One, two, three, four, five. I guess I could just play this. Actually, this, this is... All right, so basically, do they have another deputy at attention or not? If they have another deputy, then I'm sad. All right, I'm sad. <laughs> it's not game over. I'm still good. I said I do have this this blast zone that I've been talking bad about it is chilling in my hand, or it's chilling over here. They could blow up deputies. Hey, all five lands. This one is still very over. Our opponent's not getting a, another turn. Too 
to the library. And there we go. Four no. All right, we are on to the final boss. That was a well-deserved win. <laughs> GG's. All right, final boss time. Here we go, let's get the final boss playlist. Let's get this started. Yeah, we had enough time for that game, pretty easily. Wasn't even close. Yeah, who needs 30 minute timer? Don't even need that 30 minute timer. Wasn't even close. Hey, what's up, Chef? Getting that good luck shamrock in here. Love it. Sacred Foundry, huh? So looking like Feather. It's usually the deck that plays Sacred Foundry. Still looking like Feather. This would be a great time for a Risen Reef. Or Cavalier Thorns. I don't think I just want to quasi-duplicate the Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, we did not we did not play against Feather. Or sorry, we did not play against Vampires. But Feather Feather's gonna be similar to Vampires, it'll, it'll be tough. And Feather may actually be tougher with you know, like and if they have endless risen reefs, this could be a more difficult matchup for us. Well, I don't know about more difficult, but it's still very difficult. Like this is in similar fashion to vampires, this will be a tough one for us. Did I say endless risen reefs? No, I said if they have. Oh, sorry, if they have endless reckless rages. Sorry, these these double R words. Re risen reef, reckless rage, ruin raider, ripjaw raptor. Uh, that's all I got off the top of my head. Hmm. If I take out, they can kill Feather by casting the Shock. Like the oh, sorry, they can kill Tamio. Like they can kill Tamio by casting the Shock. Wave. I think I'm a minus and grab the Risen Reef back. It's either plus, yeah, it's either plus for Cavalier Thorns or minus and get Risen Reef back. If they have, so this does make them use Shock and not Defiant Strike though. Let's we'll look for Thorns. And fine. Wow. Life's great. Rotting Regisaur. Yep, that's another one. So next turn we'll have Cavalier. The turn after that we'll have Cavalier plus Quasi Duplicate. <laughs> yeah, that is the first time I've ever. I don't think I've ever used the nice emote before. Yeah, Boo would be a. Boo would be at work, but he, you know, he, he usually has the stream on at work if 
if he's not busy. You know, he probably like has it on on the side. He works the night shift. He works from like. I think he probably started about 20 minutes ago. I think he works at like nine to like something early in the morning. You're making it difficult okay, so they to didn't. Work. So they wanted to find strike back. So they didn't. Didn't shock the Tamio. Which means I get another activation here. I think we just go for the Nexus. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. God's willing doesn't really hurt us. I assume they don't have God's willing either for how they Played their feather. I guess they could have drawn that mountain off of the Defiant Strike, though. Um, no, this is this is this is perfectly fine. The the timer, it's perfectly fine. Thirty minutes is just a ton of time. It's so much time. So it's it's fine. I don't think there's really necessarily a a better system needed, kind of thing. Oh, you think the the Lord of the Rings song kills the final boss mood? I do wish there was a shorter version of this song. I'll grab new Tamio. Yeah, there's 50 rounds in a real life, and so yeah, an hour here on Arena, and in in, 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 in a paper match, you know, you have all the shuffling you have to do, and like the sideboarding counts towards that 50 minutes, where that doesn't count here. It's a lot of time. Gonna have, it's going to be difficult to keep anything alive. Just going to cast this. Basically, it's just a hit another land drop card. How do I actually keep anything alive? I don't. Every story is an opportunity for new data. I guess this one's over. Maybe in at seven. Follow the tracks of the wise. Infinite reckless rages. I can't really beat. I can't quasi duplicate stuff. Hmm. 
So we definitely need negates. We could have rebuke. Slow them down for a turn. I guess this doesn't die to Reckless Rage, I guess. But yeah, we certainly need negate to counter Reckless Rage. Again, I'm not very interested in Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, as long as it's not blocking Vanguard, it lives. I think I like that more than Wild Growth Walker. All right, next one. Reversal? Mm, I don't know about that. I'm not sure about reversal. This is a slow one. I'm gonna keep the quasi duplicate to try to copy Cavalier or something else that we ramp into. I think the Tamiyo is probably just kind of dead. Yeah, the. The Final Fantasy VI boss theme, if you find it on Spotify, send me the link, and I'll put it on the playlist. That's the thing, there's not a lot of great boss music on Spotify. I mean, I should have played the Blast Zone and ticked it up, I guess. Could have done that. So I'm not doing anything else this turn. Need to get the blast zone on three. Okay, I'm gonna have a bounty after this. So if so y'all please 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 don't leave after this match we're going to do it's a 30 second Dick Sporting Goods commercial that I'm going to play that I they get revenue based on the number of viewers here in chat So got a, a another bounty came up so so please stick around after this. I would appreciate that. If there's not, there's 562 people in here right now. If there's not 500 people, I don't get any revenue. I don't get paid at all. So we have to have at least 500 people in here. So, so stick around, everybody. Ugh. Not a great Cavalier. This is over though. After the next match, because you know, like we're we're four and one now. You know, we're finishing out our league. But you know, like we're doing our YouTube recording and everything like that. I'm not I'm not going to uh, 
do it right now during the YouTube recording. All right, new final boss. Alright, here we go. <laughs> yeah, you did sit, sit through that, that other game uh, where we took like the infinite turns and it took forever. So Walker's probably dead. Okay, that's not so bad. Walgroth Walker at least ate two cards, so that's not so bad. I'm gonna play this. Um Because because of Goblin Chain Whirler, you know, like it's not a really great spot to play Risen Reef there because of Chain Whirler. It's not a really a great spot to to quasi duplicate either, because then Firebrand kills it. Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. I think you will find my Well good news is Tamio has a lot of loyalty. Oh yeah, Wild Growth Walker would have been awesome if if it survived for sure. If we draw land, I can minus and get back Wild Growth Walker and then quasi duplicate the Jade Light Ranger. My hair is on this is just gonna be bad for you. Hmm. We don't have land though. If I minus Tamio dies to a burn spell, that's fine. I have learned much from my ancestors. The Chandra ultimate's gonna be a little rough. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning! I'm expecting Firebrand to kill Risen Reef, but maybe maybe they won't. It's honestly kind of good for us if they play the Frenzy, because then cause that means they don't have any instant speed interaction. Oh no, they have Steamkin. Darn it. So if we can survive, we can... Okay. So now we can have Wild Growth Walker start going crazy, hopefully. The past is never forgotten. Got the Risen Reef trigger. They never, they didn't kill with Firebrand. There's our lands. So they've been wanting to block with Firebrand and then shoot. That's what they wanted to do. That's why they waited. Let's light it up. 
Which they have so much mana. They just hit two lands back to back. That's kind of unlucky for them. But now, it's a good part about having Chandra out there. Is that just another land underneath? Wow, that's pretty unlucky. Hmm. So do I copy a Cavalier Thorns again? Do I copy Cavalier Thorns or do I cap copy another Jade Light Ranger? Cavalier Thorns is big. I think I do Jade Light though. Of course, our Cavalier mills over five lands, and then the Jade Light draws two lands. Yeah, we got to get that. Yeah, we got to heal. This Chandra ultimate is going to be pretty rough. And is pretty garbage. All right, so they're gonna have tons and tons and tons of cards to play. Yeah, Chain Whirler, definitely rough. Thing about copying these Cavalier Thorns, though, it does mill us over. You know, it does mill us quite a bit if we start copying the Cavalier Thorns. Is There's no problem. Fire can solve. Oh, that's that's a good. That's really good. Bunch of one mana spells. Tons of one one mana spells are just the thing you want because they're they're just free with Steamkin. So many one mana spells there. Yeah, we just gotta have our Cavalier of Thorns survive. If it doesn't, we're dead. Alright, looks like it will. Maybe not. Are they playing this other Chain Whirler that's gonna leave? Nope. They're gonna let that Chain Whirler go. 
I'm glad they're going upstairs with that and not killing my Cavalier. I was very dead if they killed Cavalier. And now I'm suddenly not dead. Now we're suddenly just fine. Wow, a Nexus? Um, do I cast this right now? Yes. Yes. They're assuming that they're playing the Chain Whirler here. <laughs> Man, both our Cavaliers just completely missed lands. It's not great. Assuming they're playing the Chain Whirler there, we don't really need to play the Land War Elf. So we'll ditch that. Ooh, we got one land. Hold on to this other land for this quasi duplicate. So I think I want to go reef, quasi duplicate, reef. I think. Maybe not. I, d I just don't want to play reef first before this chain whirler. So there's one other quasi-duplicate in the deck. Oh, no. It's in the graveyard. Wait. That's just the one that's over here that's in the graveyard. So yeah, there's one more in the deck. We have 25. Op has 22. Alright, blowing up Frenzy. So do they have nine points of burn in hand? there. Alright, so that's the last quasi-duplicate. Attack for 15. Hmm. 
many haste creatures could I have? They've gone through all the firebrands. They have one lava runner left in their deck. So they could have one haste creature. This attack could cost me two damage. We don't have much life left. Okay, so they're out of stuff. Whiff. Good. Whiff again. They whiffed again. Ugh. We whiffed. 14 cards. Or that's all we had. No, we were out of Tamiyos. Out of Tamiyo, out of Risen Reef, out of, out of Quasi Duplicate. Probably out of Wild Growth Walker, maybe. Ugh. I can't really attack. No, I can't attack. They're they're dead next turn, because I can I can blast zone away the two drops and taking out all these two drops should kill them. It's if we get another turn. It's really unlikely that we get another turn. We gotta hope they just have a bunch of bad cards here. <laughs> Looks really unlikely. Darn. No, I didn't have mana to pump Blast Zone. I just, I just got it off of like the last Cavalier there. I didn't have mana to pump it to two. I wish I wish I could have. All right, Drake. Um, is that all we got? Is it just Drake? Like, am I negating stuff? Am I rebuking? Uh, I don't know about this river's rebuke. I guess it's just Drake. Yeah, like negating Frenzy is awesome, or negating Chandra. Like that. Like they did Chandra Ultimate and had Frenzy like forever. Reversal is as removal, just to bolt their own things. Yeah, Rebuke would have won me that last game with when us having all those Cavalier Thorns. But what's what card am I taking out though? I I don't cut Risen Reefs, do I? What's the card that I that I take out? Is it Leafkin Druids? I don't think it's Leafkin Druid. That thing blocks. Finale and two Tamiyo, I guess. Uh, 
So the thing, yeah, a lot of y'all are saying cut to the finale. The, the thing that I really like about the finale in this matchup is we have some cards that are really important to go together. Like if we have, you know, like if we have a wild growth walker, but we don't have a jade light finale can go find jade light. I know it's more expensive other way around. Also, you can have finale, go get wild growth walker and then play jade light finale being four mana or Yulin Drake. Like, is that worth it? Um, obviously we have both the Sir Yulin Drakes in our hand, but like, is that worth it of like finale, go grab Sir, U Sir Yulin Drakes. And then we can just kind of have like, start getting like a wall of Sir Yulin Drakes. Whoa, what is this? I guess our final boss playlist went through all of it. Let's start it over. Quasi duplicating Sir Yulin Drake's pretty nice though. Real question is if I should be attacking. If I make this attack here. I think I do. We have to be worried about dying to burn spells. That's what we have to be worried about. Don't actually have the land. To the library. Cavalier will thin us out even faster than we had last time to get us to the infinite turn thing. Blast Zone doesn't cast Thorn, because Blast Zone isn't green mana. We need green mana. Seen a Jade Light Ranger yet, right? I can grab back Wild Growth Walker with Tamio and have you know Wild Growth Jade Light next turn. Or I could also start Nexusing.
All right, so Eulen Drake, pretty great. Just means we don't die. So if I, all right, I, I think I like this finale, being four mana or Eulen Drake. That's certainly worth it. And then we don't need we don't need Rivers Rebuke. So Eulen Drake's where it's at. Yeah, just means they can't attack. Which gives us time to to set up and everything. All right, so remember, y'all, after this game, please don't go anywhere. I'm going to be doing a very quick bounty. It'll be a 30-second Dick Sporting Good ad there. Uh, we'll be playing that, playing that. It's something that I'll get payout based on how many people are in here, but we have to have at least 500, and there's we got over that right now. But please don't go anywhere after I do the wrap-up with the deck. Washington, Washington. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. You are awesome. Thanks for joining in on the hype today. I don't think so, Rad. I don't think I will. But yeah, so please, yeah, so hopefully yeah, so don't go anywhere, y'all. It'll be quick. Won't be bad. If you, if you want, you know, you can mute your channel if you want. You know, just but don't close out the page. Thanks. Yeah, glad you love the variety of decks here. All right, what do we got? We got Risen Reef with some copying the Risen Reef. I think that's going to be too slow against the red deck. We're going to send that back. This isn't spectacular either. The opponent is going down to five though. We'll keep this six. Yeah, we need more drakes up in here. Wrong one ones. Yeah, that's true. We have turn three Tamio. Tamio can find Drake. Whoa. Gotta light up that stage. Ooh. Alright, too tempting. We're gonna get this in play before the Leaf can Druid. Cause I don't I'm not expecting a chain whirler here because they have they would just waste this Viashino Pyromancer, so I'm expecting the Viashino Pyromancer. What's up, Damien? It's an honor to meet you. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. All right, we'll see if we get Chain Whirler to death. Hopefully not. Hooray! Chandra. Alright, this not bad, not bad. Start with this thing. <laughs> All these land elves. Alright, actually I'm gonna say Cavalier Thorns because we got four of those. Yeah. Wow. Well, there's the fourth land we're off. We don't have to worry about drawing one of those.
But then we also have three Wow Gross and three Jade Lights all gone. It's my turn. Sit back and watch wow, they have, turn. after Mold of Five, that's a lot of lands. Over there. Risen Reef. Risen Reef. Research. More reef triggers. More reef triggers. We'll get two counters on this blast zone. I need it. I'm planning on blast zoning away the Chandra. This is just gonna be bad for cool. You. No chain whirler yet. And we should we should upkeep the Nexus. See if they attack. No attacks. This is looking good. Oh yeah. All right, we're doing it. We hadn't had a completely reef busted game yet. Here we go, against Mono Red of all decks. The completely busted Reef game. My opponent may concede at any time, which will kind of make our life a little worse. I thought the Sir Eulen Drake would have been it. Yeah, we were down to just 12 cards, so we were going to just take the rest of the turns. All right, there we go. Perfect. Thank you, Don. All right, so Simic, Quasi Reef, felt really good. This deck felt really, really good. Um, we, so we, yeah, we lost a Feather. We didn't get to play against Vampires. Admittedly, those seem like a couple of matchups that are going to be on the tougher side. I'd want to play it some more against those, those two decks. I think Mono Red could be a little tough for us too, but you know we got through there. Um, I, so as far as something to change, I definitely want another Temple of Mystery. I guess, you know, we're talking about maybe just taking out the finale. Get an extra land, get a 25th land. That's a temple. The Blast Zone was starting to warm to me. Warm up, I was starting to get warmed up to the Blast Zone. But I'm still not real convinced of the Blast Zone. But getting another temple in, it, did, it didn't seem like we... Our mana wasn't bad. But yeah, I definitely want another Temple of Mystery. Uh, so, you know, wanted to put that in there. Uh, that'd be, like, the only main thing. Uh, again, I'd want to see how this really does against vampires. We didn't get to make that dis that decision. The Narset's Reversal, I'm real skeptical on. As far as, like, that's probably my least favorite side war card is the Narset's Reversal. Yeah, that's my least favorite side war card. Um, yeah, to find all the decks. There you go. Thanks, Caddy Wampus. But there we go. That's Simic Quasi Reef. Pretty good deck here. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.